Hello folks, Krusty here, and just now, like in the past hour, a list of Ninjago 2022 set names have leaked from Promo Bricks. So here we have Kai Spinjitsu Ninja Training, which I know exactly what this is. There's two more for Lloyd and Jay. And this is going to be that round of gimmick sets that never show up in the show, and they never bother completing them for all of the ninja, making collecting them kind of crap. <coughs> Spinjitzu Burst. What I'm getting from these set descriptions is there's going to be like a set of mechs that can combine into one big mech, which sounds like a really fun gimmick, but at the end of the day it's mechs. Ninjago has been in no short supply of mechs pretty much ever, we don't need more mechs. This is a general rant I just want to go on. Ninjago sets have become very tiring, not because of the character designs or anything, the character designs and aesthetics are all fantastic, but it's so frequent that any excuse they can get to make a motorcycle or a mech they will jump on and milk for all they can. I am just becoming so tired of mech, bike, and even dragon sets. I bought the Zippy a while back, and I just felt nothing building him, because there's so many bloody dragons. Sets like the Hydra Bounty and the Keeper's Village were awesome for building, because they felt fresh and new, whereas these dragons, bikes, and mechs, and blah blah blah, are just the same thing over and over again, and this wave just looks like a bunch of more of the same to me. I'm sure you'll have one or two standout sets that are really great, but mostly it's just all so tiring. I'm so sick of these constant dragon and bike sets and the amount of mechs in this wave and the feature of the wave being that you need to buy a bunch of mechs to get everything out of it has just made it so I'm just not particularly interested in it at all. I will probably be brick linking the figures. As for the amount of Lloyd sets, I don't mind. On the one hand, Lloyd, I would go as far as to say is one of my favorite fictional characters ever. On the other hand, I personally don't think this is the time to be getting Lloyd centric in the show. But there are a few things, for one, the sets typically aren't indicative of the show. Sets have historically been wrong in predicting who gets the majority of the screen time. Two, you haven't seen the season yet. Kai and Jay could have very prominent roles regardless. And three, just please don't jump to conclusions. I do not want a repeat of Secrets of the Fins Binjitsu, the Oni Trilogy, etc, etc. Wait for it to come out and then make a judgement. So that's what I think of this leaked list of set names. In short, I'm not a fan of the amount of mechs. I think Ninjago sets need to diversify a bit. Seabound did a really good job with that. But ultimately, I mean, the only reason they were unable to put a bike set or something in that wave was because they were literally unable to put a bike set underwater. So yeah, they still have other ways to go, I think. In conclusion, more location-based sets, less cut-and-paste dragons and bikes. Lloyd focused, I'm interested in. Lloyd is one of my favourite characters, so I'm very happy about that. But I don't think this is the particular time for it. But I'm going to reserve judgement until I actually watch the season or installment or whatever this is because you know we thought the island was a season and it wasn't so yeah that's what i think let me know what you think of this in the comments below be sure to please the youtube algorithm and i will see you next time goodbye <coughs>